Well, it's some of the exciting stuff with uh, HCM. Anybody will in it with HCM has probably seen the new Bristol Myers Squibbs commercial on TV, and I think it's like HCM HCM Real Talk, and it goes directs you to this website where it talks about cephalomyectomy or something being you know the, the, the standard or beta blockers being the standard, but now there's a new treatment, and if you click on it, it takes you to the Bristol Myers Squibbs website about Kimzias. So. Super excited, and that's the thing now. It's kind of getting out among the uh, general population. So between the last time I uploaded something and now, I've, I think I've talked to at least three different companies. I'm not exactly sure who they were. I'm, I'm always positive one of them was Bristol Myers Squibbs for market research. Uh, one of them was Bristol Myers Squibbs was market research. The other one was about um, the REMS program. I, I think it was a competitor, I'm not sure. And then the other one was just this random Chinese company. Who, well, it's random to me. I'm sure there, there's somebody over there who also wanted to know how the REMS program worked. Uh, I can't remember if they hit me up before or after my last, my latest upload. Uh, so that was interesting, talking to this Chinese company. Um, because this medicine is going to be worldwide eventually, these small myosin inhibitors. Uh, obviously, it's out in the United States. I think Canada, the UK, Europe, China, India are all going to see this medicine in the next couple of years. But there's people who have invested in Chemzias who aren't, satisfied with how it performed in the market or was performing. And I think a lot of that is because, you know, they're expecting some kind of blockbuster. Um, And the REMS program is such a slog. Like to get your dose changed from five to 10 or 10 to 15, it takes a lot. So the, the, just to get out of the medicine takes a lot. So it's, it's not like an over over the counter thing. And something that's attractive to me about Afficamptin, so Cam Zyers is Mavicamptin, Afficamptin is uh, another company that's working on that, similar small myosin inhibitor, but it has a shorter half-life, so it doesn't stay in your system as long, so you'll be able to trade up, titrate up and down faster if my logic is tracking there. Uh, and that's attractive to me because I'm on 15 milligrams and I can't take any more as of right now. I think the FDA, the FDA is going to kind of work with Bristol Myers Squibb over the next year or two to uh, see if they can because, well, one thing is like, I know people that did really well on five and ten was too much, but you can't take seven point five. So like that that feels like something that already within the bounds that they could address. But also I'm on fifteen, tolerating it well. I'm feeling probably sixty to seventy percent better at this point. I wouldn't have said that a couple months ago, but I'm feeling a lot better now. Um, and if I could take like seventeen point five or twenty, I would love that. So if you have HCM and you haven't done a genetic test yet, do that because I did that a couple years ago and I have the MYH7 uh, mutation. So that's a heavy chain mutation. I have more myosin that need to be disconnected with you know, a small myosin in there. Uh, opposed to somebody who might have a light chain mutation and they respond very well to two, on 2.5 milligrams. I take, it's taken me to 15 milligrams and hopefully more uh, to really get my obstruction down. So I'm looking forward to that over the next couple of years that hopefully they'll be able to kind of compartmentalize patients depending on what genetic mutation they have. And that's kind of what's exciting about being a part of this. You know, as I've mentioned in the past, I also have type 1 diabetes, and I'm used to be able to look, you know, back across the 20th century and see how insulin had developed over the years. And, like, we're in the midst of a new medicine that's developing. I think it's really exciting. I'm glad to be part of it. If you follow my journey, you know, I've had some serious emotional and, like, ups and downs. I, I have had a couple calls with Bristol Myers Squibbs talking about, like, hey, with, why isn't this medicine working for me? Can somebody please talk to me? I get, it got a little ugly last year, but things have, have uh, calmed down. And, like, in the midst of me having complained to Bristol Myers Squibbs, also directly to them, and on some of my uh, my blog posts, somebody reached out to me on an informal channel, I'll leave it at that, that said they work for Bristol Bristol Myers Squibbs, and I scoped out their you know online presence, and it's, I feel like they, they were telling the truth, they they do. And they said, hey, you know, we know you're having some problems with with Kim Zayas, but it can take up to two years for it to work. And that was news to me. I hadn't read that anywhere. I didn't hear that anywhere. It was the first time I'm hearing it. Uh, so, okay, is this person just trying to, like, it's like one of the, you know, the uh, the squeaky wheel gets the oil thing. Like, oh, this guy's a squeaky wheel, and we have to say something to him, and they sent me a message. Um, so, I don't know if Cam's eyes takes two years to work. I don't think that's in the literature anywhere or with any of the studies they did, but um, I'm going to stay on it as long as I can, as long as 
being paid for. But with that said, if like Africa Campion comes out, whatever its market name is going to be, and and you're able to titrate more or faster, that's going to be really attractive for a lot of people. So keep an eye out for that. You know, I, I love history. Obviously, I'm sitting in a uh, colonial era house from the 1700s in 1920s clothes talking about uh, first in class 21st century medicine and it's it's exciting to me that's all for now feeling better i will probably do another update at uh, my next 12 week mark because then i can have some quantitative data to you give to you guys thanks for watching we'll see you soon